Welcome day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dewey Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 30th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world as I study weather, space weather, and geological events. And yeah, you know, space weather really affects our weather here on the planet Earth. And here is a classic example. So we had a steady stream three days ago of maybe 300 kilometers per second of cosmic energy. And it increased drastically to 500 kilometers per second. And you can see it right here on the right side. So that was a graph showing our magnetosphere. This is the sun. And I'm, I just want to show you what happened to our sun and why this happened to our magnetosphere. So this shows the pressure of the solar wind stream going around our north plane and equatorial plane. Boom, that bow shock up in front, that red is the density of the cosmic energy. So definitely, we were slapped with a lot of cosmic energy from the sun, and that just happened last night. Now, there was eight hours of footage missing a day ago, but it is back up and running now. And this is what Lasco 3 caught. You can see Saturn moving from left to right there, the really bright star. The energy seems to just shoot out towards it. But it affected the whole corona. So there was wind stream that was projected our way. We were in a lull from 25th to the 26th. But everything has increased over the last 48 hours now. And we've seen, of course, increased volcanism and earthquakes around the world right now. Over the last few days, since the 22nd, when this original cosmic energy was fired away from our sun. So this is the second blast in the last week or so that has really affected us. And we were on high alert for geomagnetic storm yesterday. And we can expect it again as our sun is becoming a little more awake. We haven't had a large flare since last year in September. That was our last recorded X flare. All that we've really experienced are coronal mass ejections, coronal holes, filament eruptions. But definitely things are changing drastically on our sun and on our planet. It is as it is now being documented across all alternative media platforms, but even mainstream media is beginning to talk about these drastic changes, blaming it on other things and distracting you from the truth. So I encourage everybody to do their own research, as I do here with my channel. I do my own research, and I post my videos and my thoughts, my conclusions. I've been a sky watcher and observer for all my life. So that's 43 years of my life. I've been paying attention to our world. So you can see a pretty active sunspot region on the sun right now. Let's hope that that stays together. Also watching the formation of a solar tornado right here. Amazing footage is coming out of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. But what, watching this energy here coming in on the left side that is coming towards us. I documented a few days ago something possibly crashing into our sun, a sun-diving comet, maybe, 
but something definitely hit the backside of our sun and it literally punched a hole and you can see the sunspot region firing and coming in now so stay aware and prepared as things are changing quickly look at this last 24 hours for earthquakes i haven't seen a busy last 24 hours like this in a long time and it's a bit disturbing and concerning now fear not these are all cycles everybody we must go through this together and adapt to these changes but the 5.8 earthquake today in indonesia is very close to sumatra and krakatawa now krakatoa literally has is half its size now after the eruption and concave of the side of that volcano latest earthquake here at 5.0 in the philippines as well still shaking from that 6.9 the other day but look at all these fours across the planet 4.5s 4.9s they're everywhere expanding earth two days ago we had a solar wind stream of 300 kilometers per second and it has now increased to over 500 kilometers per second and is steady so watch for the pressure to continue and for more volcanoes to help release the pressure from around the world a lot of very deep earthquakes look around here parts of Russia and Kamchatka are dealing with a massive snowstorm I was watching two days ago they had over hurricane force winds nobody reporting that in mainstream media but it literally dropped three feet of snow creating 12 foot to 14 foot drifts in some areas massive storm going across Russia it is now heading straight into the Pacific Ocean heading towards us the Aleutian Islands I'll get to that in a moment when I get to weather but looking at the last seven days we're still looking at a very quiet North America for earthquakes especially when you see all these 4.3s going off around the world the last 24 hours has been busy so please stay aware and prepared share this channel with your friends and family across the world so you can help stay aware and adapt to these changes as there are going to be millions if not billions affected by these environmental disasters across the world and we're going to be looking more at environmental refugees than anything and the united nations know it and they're preparing for it agenda 21 look it up let's get to the five-day forecast here by meteor earth and meteor mike here overlooking north america parts of canada extreme cold temperatures moving in but still a chinook creating a nice warm pocket over alberta parts of alberta anyway but later in the week that will change you can see cold temperatures coming in and another nor'easter week after week now large nor'easters developing heading racing up the southeastern seaboard united states this one will affect the atlantic provinces a lot there will be a lot of snow accumulated with this storm so yeah looking at parts of none of it could reach minus 41 degrees later in the week polar vortex swinging its way around as we did have a large low pressure center over the hudson bay and that helps fuel down winter as well as these large low pressure systems over the pacific ocean i just wanted to show you here some very cold temperatures in russia and kamchaka you can see that large low pressure center moving east now northeast and we'll join another low, large low pressure in the aleutian islands we will see heavy amounts of snow in the alaska and bc coast as well also looking at a very large winter storm developing for parts of eastern europe 
Finland, Sweden, right down to Germany and Romania could receive up to 30 centimeters of snow with this large low pressure system coming in from the seaboard. Coming straight in from the north and connecting with that very cold high pressure vortex over Russia. Pretty dominant too. Cold temperatures reaching all the way to Pakistan, South Korea. That's right folks. Grand solar minimum is here. We are on the verge. We've been trying to warn you. There are a lot of alternative media platforms that have been trying to warn you for a long time. And I've been here for 18 months and I'm glad that I have gained over 5,300 friends and family from around the world as we are more awake than we were 18 months ago. Large low pressure center here. This is actually tropical depression number 34. And we've got tropical depression 35, who is not quite a cyclone yet. But later in the week, as it goes across Queensland in the sites or reef, things will change and it will be at least a category one cyclone heading towards New Zealand. But watching a lot of things drastically change along the equator. And I'm going to get more in depth onto that over the next few days. So please subscribe, share with your friends, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.